Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mage and I'm back with another Mac Basic. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own screensaver, so stay tuned. So making your own screensaver is really easy. You just have to keep a couple of key things in mind. The first is, what size do you want your screensaver to be? Do you want it to encompass your entire screen? If so, you're going to want to know the screen dimensions of your laptop or your computer. For example, my computer is a 13-inch MacBook and my screen dimensions are 2880 by 1800. Now, in the description section, I'm going to go ahead and leave instructions for how you can find your screen's resolution just in case you missed my desktop image uh, background image tutorial where I show you how to find your screen's resolution. The second thing you're going to want to keep in mind is what kind of screensaver do you want? Do you want a themed screensaver or do you just want random images? Things like that. If you want a themed screensaver, then you're going to want to keep that in mind and then you're going to want to also keep in mind do you want to use family photos or photos that are on your camera because if you want to use photos you already have, this, the process is a little bit different but not much. The third thing you want to consider is how you want your screensaver to behave. Do you want it to encompass the whole screen? Do you want it to have like a family picture kind of effect? Do you want it to have a bits and pieces effect like where you do a columned type of screensaver? Think about that as well. So once you have an idea of the kind of screensaver you want to do, then we can go ahead and begin to make our screensaver. So the first thing you want to do is create a folder by bringing up the context menu on your home screen, which can be done by right clicking on a mouse or by double finger clicking with your trackpad. Then you want to go to new folder and then you're going to want to name your folder. And I'm going for a kaleidoscope effect, so I'm going to name my folder kaleidoscope. I hope I spelled that correctly. Okay, now I'm just going to get the folder out of the way. And what we're going to do now is if you have family pictures on your local disk or somewhere on your computer or even on a jump drive, all you need to do is drag those pictures into this folder and you're all good to go. Now, if you have your screensaver multiple sized pictures, you're going to want to choose a screensaver where the photos are sort of independent of each other. And I'll show you how to do that just a little later on. Now, if you want to get images from the internet, this is what you're going to have to do. First, you're going to want to go to Google or your preferred browser and search engine. And then you're going to want to search for the theme of your a uh, screensaver. Now for me, I'm going to be doing a kaleidoscope and I want the effect to encompass my entire screen. So this is how I'm going to search my images. I'm going to put in kaleidoscope and then the dimensions of my screen. So then once I've done that, I'll just click enter and I should get some really awesome images. If you're getting like kind of everything, just make sure you click on images so you can get a bunch of images. One thing I almost forgot to mention is that when you are saving your images, which by the way you can do by just bringing up a context menu and clicking on save image, you're going to want to make sure that when you're saving image, it doesn't matter what title it is, that doesn't really have any bearing on what we're doing as long as you're saving it directly to your desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and collect some images for my screensaver and I will meet you guys back at the home screen. Okay, so as you can see, I have all the pictures from my screensaver here on the home screen. And so all I'm going to do is just highlight them and start putting them into my folder. Okay, so once that is done, all I need to do is now put the screensaver where it belongs on my default settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Go, Computer, my local storage dish, disk, which is Macintosh HD, Library, and then finally I'm going to look, well, almost finally, I am going to look for where it says Screensavers and click on that. And then finally I'm going to look for where it says uh, Default 
collections and click on that. Now here are a list of my screensavers and I'm just going to drag in this screensaver, the new one, and then authenticate it. Helps if you know your computer's password. Okay, so now once that's done, the only thing left to do is to select it and to give it its display settings. So I'm going to bring up the context menu and then I'm going to click on change desktop background. And then I'm going to click under the screensaver panel. And as you can see, here's one of my previous screensavers right here. Over here on this setting here, you're going to have your display settings, which will allow you to display your screensavers in multiple ways. So over here, what you're going to have to do is click on the screensaver you'd like. So I'm clicking on Kaleidoscope. Now I've got to click on the kind of display settings I'd like. Do I want it to display with a kind of floating? Um, or how, how do I want it to display? Do I want it just to be like a showcase thing? Um, you know, there's uh, many different ways that you can have it display. You can do things like having it preview. And it will preview the way that your screensaver is going to look at full screen. And then once you've done that, then you can just um, just move your mouse around it. It will um, get out of that mode. And then you can also choose, do you want to display a clock? How long you want your screen to be idle before the saver comes up? Just various settings. Hot corners are, I believe, if you touch on any corner of your screen, while your screensaver is displayed, it'll do something with the system. It'll hibernate it or shut it down or take you to certain places on your computer. So you can set up your hot corners by pressing this here. So that's really all you need to know about setting up your own screensaver. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found my videos helpful or enjoyable, please like and share or tweet. Also, you can help my channel out greatly by subscribing to the channel if you like my Mac Basics tutorials or any of my other tutorials on this channel. Again, it would help me out greatly if you do subscribe. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.